subscribe. Uh, no, not that one. That one. Hey guys, welcome back to Mad Labs, and let's go ahead and get started. This is a WordPress tutorial number one. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be purchasing our domain name over at 101.com. I left the links in the links below. I left the links on everything we're going to be using in the description below. Uh, so we're going to be purchasing the domain at 101domain.com and then transferring the name server over to Bluehost where we will be doing the hosting. And then from there, we will be going to wordpress.org, downloading uh, WordPress and setting it from there, and then developing the MySQL, the database on Bluehost, and setting up everything over there. So let's go getting hard. Uh, one of the reasons, actually, one of the reasons I do it this way, when you get a hosting company, you may already have your hosting company and may already have your domain. You can add, actually do it with your hosting company. usually does an automatic install of WordPress if you choose to. I choose to not do this route because I don't know what they're installing into the hosters. Let's say go into my SQL base and they go everything. I have to go through everything. And I just don't do that. That's time consuming for free so I just I just like to do it this way that way it's I know it's secure I know I developed it and and everything is originally mine so we're gonna go ahead and do that so let's get started yo if you guys haven't subscribed subscribe to our channel below and uh, join us because this um, will help us uh, continue to uh, do more of these videos so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to be I have an outdoors channel so I'm an outdoors besides uh, programming web developing um, I have an outdoors channel, which uh, and a YouTube channel, an outdoors channel. So I'm gonna actually going to get developing a clothing website with this uh, WordPress. So um, with an e-commerce and so and and and, and a marketing your brand name. So let's go ahead and do that. The name of this one. So you guys actually get to go for the whole ride from everything with me from the beginning. So let's go ahead and start. So we're over here at 101domain.com. If you guys haven't registered, go ahead and register. So uh, I'm going to be calling this Brad Freed Monkey. So let's see if Feed Monkey is available. And oh, look at that. Feedmonkey.com. Ouch. So I'm actually going to go feedmonkey.pro. And I think I already added it to my cart. And so let's go to the cart. And we don't need any of this stuff. If you guys want to do this stuff, you can go ahead and do it. I don't. So we're going to go skip these options. I hope I am not going too fast. Hello, Ira. I know you're going to be showing your students this video. So I will try to try to. Um, um, speak a little bit slower and go slower. I do go fast. I mean, I've been um, uh, programming since around 1995 and uh, started with HTML and been working with WordPress since uh, 2004. Since it came out in 2003, I started in early 2004. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, you can keep your personal information um, private here if you choose to. So when you do that stuff. Um, anyways, uh, oh, and even five bucks. So let's go to checkout. All right. So let's go check out. Uh, everything looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, yeah. Ah, Feed Monkey Doc Pro. There we go. Continue checkout. So, okay. So, use our name server. Ah, so here. Here we go. We want to use another name server. So, when you purchase your domain, again, um, you, you, if you are, uh, purchasing your domain from your hosting site, or if you already have it, you don't need to do this. But if you're not, if you're following my steps, uh, we need to set up our name servers. So, we're going to transfer this to ns1.bluehost.com. And in us too, uh, bluehost.com. So that's done. All right, done. All right, and done. So, okay. So then, and then continue. This account's already set up. I've been using uh, 101daymind.com for many, many, many years now. So, I mean, a long time. So, I should have. I hope I got $5 in my PayPal account. So, we should. Uh, block out the information. Oops, screen recording. So, uh, you can't see it. So, anyways, I think I got a few hours still on my account. Uh, and, uh, all right, so yes, found PayPal balance, uh, and uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, continue order. So, all right, so here we go, and continue order. So, and we're set. Okay, so. so that looks like that's all done. So let's go ahead and double check everything. All right, so let's go ahead and add domain names and uh, domain names. I think so yeah, so we got feed monkey. Let's check if the name servers are over there and correct and s one and s two so um that takes a few minutes to to actually it could take up to forty forty it could take up to forty eight hours for your name server to transfer depends what hosting server you're you're using if you're doing it this way or if you're if you're using your hosting server where your domain is at so which is fine so you can probably skip these tips so what we want to do now is we want to head over to 
we want to go over to wordpress.org. Okay. So again, I was saying you can do, if, if you have a hosting, if you do have a hosting server, you purchase your domain from there, you don't have to, you don't have to go through this process. So um, uh, actually this process, you do have to go through, sorry. Uh, if you don't want to go through the name server transfer process, you purchase your domain there. So you already have it set up. Um, what you want, you can uh, want to do here is we want to get WordPress and then we want to go ahead and download the latest WordPress uh, installation of WordPress, which is WordPress 6.0. I've already downloaded it, but you're going to download it. And okay, so yeah, so it's downloading. Uh, so yeah, it's going to, it's going to come into a zip file. I already have it. So we're going to skip that message. Or I'm going to go ahead and skip that. So go ahead and download it, save it to your desktop. Um, actually, no, let's go through that because it's going to come in a zip format. So here, so let's go through. Uh, let's go ahead and wait for that. So, uh, uh, so okay. Uh, uh, there we go. Let's see this. Yeah, okay, so there it is. So, yeah, so. Anyways, uh, 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 uh. Now we got uh, da, da, da. Uh, 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 uh. there we go. So now it's downloading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, so I should be done. Uh, so. uh, uh. All right, so let's go ahead and downloading. So I'll go ahead and talk here. So, anyways, you guys have subscribed. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to be going through all this, uh, oh, that's taking forever today, isn't it? So, I'll probably cut the video here, so. So, it looks like it's about done. Oh, that's taking a long time to download. But that's okay. Ah, well, that's downloading. I know what we need to do. Well, that's downloading. Let's go over to our Bluehost. So you guys should be in Bluehost or whatever server for you. you're using. If you're doing this from scratch, I recommend following my, my, my procedures, how I do everything. So anyway, so let's go into a domain. So here we are logged into our control panel of Bluehost, which is the newer version, which I think they changed about 10 years ago to this new version. I don't like this platform. I really, really love the old platform, but if you guys aren't familiar with it, you don't get to see the old platform. But okay, so domains, we want to assign a domain. Now again, name servers can take up to 24 or 48 hours to transfer. So anyways, we want to use a domain that is not already associated with our account. So we just purchased, what is it called? Feedmonkey, feedmonkey.pro. There we go. And let's see, it's available. Nope, not available yet. So we'll probably have to wait 10 or 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long to, to get it done. So anyway, so while we're waiting for that, so that's not ready yet. So let's go check our downloads. All right, so it is downloading. So let's open our file location for that. And it's a zip file. So we're gonna bring it over here. And then of course we want to uh, unpackage. So you want to, uh, if you do not have Win, uh, uh, WinZip or anything on your computer, uh, what you can do is you can go over here to, just go type in uh, search here and we can type in Win RR. And you can go ahead and download that program. So you're going to go to winrare.com. If you guys don't have a zip program on your computer, if you do, you do. So I'll try to go through this really fast. Oh, uh, well, so hopefully, yeah, well, so, all right, so, yeah, mm -hmm. looks like I have internet issues. I don't know why, I'm offline here, I am offline. There we go. So you can go ahead and download this, this program for all steps. You can use your purchase the platform or, or not purchase it, but you can go ahead and use it. If you uh, don't don't have a copy of it and you like copy, shoot me shoot me a comment and I'll send you over a copy. So if that's illegal. So anyway, so so then we go in here and we just go ahead and extract our file, open up with FinWire, extract files, and so you extract your files. I've already extracted mine, so WordPress uh, and not two. So I've already done that. We have it up here. Okay, so I don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash that, and we're gonna move up to WordPress. So this is what you have in your documents here so we are going to need this to set up our database mysql and everything like that they have a file in here that is called 
WPI, WP config sample file. Now, one program I do use to edit config files is uh, Note. You can use Notepad, but Note++ is even better. So, this is Note++. Right here. This is your hoops editing one. So that I have to edit that because that just <laughs> gave everything. So, what we want to do is, uh, <laughs> oops, <laughs> oops, I should have done that. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, open with, let's go ahead and open this with, open with, uh, no plus plus. And there we go. So, here we go. We got no plus plus. Let's check our name server if that is been, if we can transfer that over yet. So, let's go ahead and see if Bluehost is able to receive that in. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are. We're over here at our domains. And we want to go assign domain. And. Uh, me, let's do feed monkey. Feed monkey dot pro. Yay, it's available. Okay, so as you see, the name server didn't take too long to, to, to transfer over. So there we are. So now we go over here. What we're going to do is an add on domain. And so use a domain that is not already associated with your account. So that would be feed monkey dot pro. So we want to make sure add on domains clicked. And so we're going to create a new directory, public HTML, feedmonkey.pro, and your subdomain would be this. And let's see, oh, sign domain. Oh my Sign domain, let's go. Uh -huh. And done. Ah, uh, what are you guys doing to me? Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. internet issues. There we go. Uh, am I having internet issues today? This is not a good day for internet. Uh, right, that down. And uh, this is just uh, this uh, uh, this is here. Okay. Uh, there we go. So let's get back over here. And uh, so to make sure. Send me. Uh, There we go. I'm outside the main. There we go. So, ah, so it looks like I actually went through already. Okay, so we're good. Let's check out my domains and see if it says I signed domain. And uh, it does. So we want to manage the uh, sign. There we go. <laughs> And then, uh, uh, so I think we're, I think we're good. Actually, so let's just go create. Let's just go feed monkey. And then feed monkey. And then create you. And that's fine. Alright, so there we go. Done. Ura. Oh, damn, it's already assigned. So we go back to my domains. And it should be a sign. Now, one thing we want to do after this, uh, before we actually get into WordPress, it says bean funky, bean, bean monkey, feed monkey dot pro is an add on and it is a sign. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go over here to our advanced section. This is going to take you into the back end of your hosting server. So, we want to go down to MySQL databases. Now we want to create a MySQL database for this. So, all right. So this is my. So we're gonna, now we're going to be creating a database. The database is your MySQL server, where everything, all your backend information is stored. All your, all your program language, your WordPress, everything you do is where it is hosted on the website. So we're going to do FeedMonkey. M O N K E Y. So we're creating a database called FeedMonkey because that's the name of our website. So very simple. You can call it anything you want here. I'm just going to call it FeedMonkey. Actually, I'll probably change that. So, uh. so next, now we want to create a database user. Let's call this user admin. All right, admin. Yeah. And then you want to create a password. So password generator. I'm going to go ahead and pause this step because I don't want you guys to see my passwords in there. So. Okay, 
All right, so we're back in line. I did that little stuff. Hopefully, you didn't see everything I did there. So we created our database. Uh, we called the database the name of the website. And then we put our password in. And we created a user, user admin, if you like. And we get in here, and it's a database wizard. You're going to give the person all user, all, uh, all, 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 um, all, all privileges. Oh, I forget where it's at. Uh, so let's go ahead and then we get ahead and click next step. So, all right, and there we go. Complete test. So. Here we go. Now we have our user, which would be Crested Core. I call it the Corpser. I would definitely change that. So Crested Core, Corpser, and our uh, Feed Monkey. So all done. So now what we want to do is we are going to go into the... We have a file in here called... If you go ahead and you open, you know, you unzip your WordPress, you got a WordPress file. And we're going to go into WordPress. And we're looking for a file called WP sample config. We're going to change it to config.php. So I use no plus plus. Um, as you can, you can, if you're using the Windows 10 or later, if you're using iOS or, or, uh, or Apple, you can definitely do that. So anyway, so no plus plus is the best, uh, editing program, uh, for here outside of this. I, I really like this, uh, notepad, uh, up there, it's really not much you have to do. You're not coding anything. You're not programming anything. So, which AI yeah, can actually do for you these days. Anyway, so we're actually getting here. So if we go ahead and you can go ahead and read all the documentation in here, uh, which is really nice. So we're going to be adding our database name that we just created. So where is that database name? Okay. We have, it says, put your database name. Now you want to put it in between these two quotes here. So let's get back into our database. All right. So there we go. So this is our database name. We have, uh, let's add to database, cross the sea, feed monkey. So we want to go in here and we want to add our database name right in here. So you can usually hit, uh, you can hit control V, you can hit control C is copy on your keyboard if you highlight it and control V for base. So you guys probably already know that. So we want to add the database username, which we have here, which would be Corpster and copy. Uh, so we're gonna go back in here. We want to add our database name, our username. Sorry, database, and there we go, and paste. So done. So we got our name first. Uh, password. You definitely have to push your password in here, and we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So whatever password you have, you put your password in there. Now we're gonna get down localhost, all this stuff. You leave it same, okay? Now we're gonna head down into here. These are gonna be your authentication keys for. The, your server and your website to communicate. So we have an authorization key. Put your authorization key. Now, if you look at these uh, quotes here, or hyphens, you want to, uh, hyphens quotes, I forget the name of these things. I'm not English either. You, know, you might have to help me with this because you're the English major. I am definitely not. So you're going to want to put these in between. So put your unique phrase here. Now, where do you get these phrases from? If you go right here above, authentication, unique keys, and salts. Change these to different type unique phrases. You can generate these using the API at WordPress. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go and we'll go ahead and copy that. So we're going to go back in here and let's go over here. Now let's put that in, paste and go. So we're back at getting our APIs from WordPress.org. And so each time you can hit the refresh key, if you want to hit the refresh key, it'll regenerate these. So you have your authentication key. You want to copy in between the quotes there. And so you want to copy each one individually. So you have your authorization authorization key so let's go back into our editing program so we have our authorization key so you want to put that in down in here okay and then we have next we have our uh, secure authorization key so you want to take that and you want to put those it has if you take a look in here uh, you can't probably see my hands but if you want to take a look in here it has that little space at the end there you got to copy that space and put that in all the way to the comma everything in between so copy, go back here, uh, so that's set. and we want to put that, uh, oops, 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 okay, okay. Right, so we want to put that in here, and then the next one says logged in your login key, so you want to get that, your login key, so you want to take that in between, everything up, you want to copy that. And we want to put that back in there. Let's see if I can move this over to the side so it's a little bit easier for me to grab them quick. There we go. So that's your logged in authorization key. You can mix these up any way you want. So you you can you know if uh, we're on the nonce key. So if if you you know if you, you can always refresh these things and take keys. They don't have to 
the, these keys are just uh, generated automatically generated for you. So I'm gonna take that in here. So we're gonna copy that and copy. And let's go put that one in. So there we go, not ski. And I'll put this in and paste. And boom. So then we're gonna grab the authorization salt key. We're gonna go ahead and do that and copy. So all right, so and this. And then we're gonna grab our define key. Now, if you guys want to know which each of these stand for, I'm not going to get into it. So, be a video on its own. You can go ahead and research this information if you'd like to. Authorization key. So, we're going to go ahead and put that one down there. Edit paste. Now, it is common to make mistakes in there. I don't do these perfectly every single time. So, if you do make a mistake when you're loading, if you're if when you when you get into your if you do make a mistake and you get into your 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 video there. And then you, it's not loading. We'll get into that. Your WordPress won't load on your website. Um, the mistake is probably in here. So you have to go back and double check everything and make sure you did that correctly. Because sometimes you have these quotes in here and sometimes you miss them or you, you delete them. And so, and so those things do happen. So you have to go back in and double check there. So I've, yeah, so I've, I've done this for 20 years or more, but I always make mistakes. So nothing's perfect. So. Uh, that's perfect. Anyway, so base. Okay, so now we have everything in there and done. So yes, so that's all you need to do with this uh, config PHP file. Now what you want to do when you save it, you want to hit file. You want to save as. Okay. Now we want to change the name here because it's, it's it's a PHP. It's a sample config. So we're going to remove the sample of the WP config file. And we're going to type .php and then you go ahead and hit save. Make sure you put the .php in there. You remove the sample and .php. I already have my file in there. And so we're just going to delete the sample and done. Okay? So that's that. So we don't need this anymore. So now we are done with this section of this video. So that's that for, for this video. Oh, one more thing. We got to install WordPress on the website. So that's done. Okay, so now let's go ahead and sorry about that. Uh, one thing I forgot to do. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go ahead and do this out. I'm going to take that out there. And that's going to copy and paste onto the computer desktop. So there we go. Everything's in there. We really don't need that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Uh, and then, so we want to zip this file. We want to add to archive. And we're gonna it's an RAR file. We're gonna change it to zip, and everything looks good. And replace files, and go ahead and make sure it goes on your desktop. And bingo, I'm done. So while we're waiting for that to zip, we are going to head back into our website. Now we're gonna head back over to. I guess we gotta wait. Uh, what is that? Uh, 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 so we're gonna head back in here. So we have my domains, and so we're gonna go back down to advanced, and we are going to go into. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, I like to uh, we want to go on file manager. There we go. I like the old system better. This new platform is too up to date. So we're going to go on the file manager. We're going to go to our public HTML file here. We're going to double click that, open that up. And we should be able to find feed monkey in here. There we go. Feed monkey. There we go. CJ bin. Uh, we can keep CJ bin file. Well, no file. We can delete that. We don't need that. So eh, let's get this trash. There we go. All right. So let's go back. So we're going to be uploading our file here. So as soon as that's all zipped, so a couple more minutes of processing. So I guess while we're processing that. So after this video will be in including the installation of WordPress, and we'll go ahead and set it up that. This is part one of uh, WordPress tutorial, how to install WordPress. And part two will be setting up the design of WordPress and doing search engine optimization. So that's done. OK, great. So now we're going to go back in here. So we're going to go here. Um, we're going to want to upload our file. Select file, drag and drop, 
and we're going to be loading our WordPress file. Oh, and done. So, that's so we're waiting for that to upload. So, okay, so while we're waiting for that to upload, uh, my internet's a little bit slow. I'm actually running off my mobile phone, which is also filming this video. So, uh, you know, I've been living in Ukraine for the last uh, 20 or so, more than 20 years now, and, um, and it's because of the war. It's uh, a lot of stuff going on, so we actually just ran across the border because there was just a lot of issues. So we've been living in Odessa, and it's just, uh, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, you got, uh, I'm not going to get into politics, so. So anyway, so we, just, we just ran across the border, so. And, and where we're at, you have to have your residency. We've got, we got refugee status. We've been here for a few months. we got refugee status, but our card hasn't come yet. We have a temporary refugee card. You can't buy internet with that. You can't. Can't do anything. It's like this thing is like so duck, 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 duck. It's awful, man. I love Ukraine. I miss Ukraine. Come on, let's get the war over. I want to go home. And so, and, and so, it's just this is like everything in Europe is duck. You need to do this duck, duck, duck. It's just like there's no freedom. You're controlled. Uh, it's, it's awful, man. Okay, you're you're free. And even before the war, it was a lot better. And, and uh, even before you had the COVID days, it was even great. But yeah, it's a lot of corruption, which which is not good. Which is good, positive and negative. So, and and so. <laughs> Uh, it's way 88 percent so uh, 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 I hope that warrants soon I, I really want to go home so okay there we are so that looks good uh, da, 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 da. so we go ahead and close that uh, we don't need that file bum, bum, bum. we go ahead and close that okay so we got that one open database everything's on there and file manager okay so we're gonna go ahead and reload we should see our file in here come on Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, come on, let's go on. There we go. So WordPress. And we're going to want to extract our files. So we're going to go here. We're going to go hit extract. And extract it to feed my own key and extract our files. So everything's getting extracted. Yeah, and there we go. Close. Everything's extracted. Reload. Okay. Now we can go ahead. We don't need our zip file anymore. Oops. And we don't need that file. We need that file. Skip the trash. And uh, different. Okay. So now let's just double check if we did everything correctly. I'm actually going to go back in the file manager. I'm going to go to my public HTML. Now we just installed on feedmonkey.org. I'm going to go into one of my sites and just check if everything's there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we got to uh, extract everything here. Okay, so now, as we can see, we have our WordPress file. So, <clears throat> so let's get back in here. We have our, oh, here's the fiber. Um, yeah, so if you guys don't want to do this yourself, I do have a, 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 a I, I can do it for you. I do have a page on fiber.com. Um, it's under Robert Corby, and uh, you can do web posting. I do charge a few bucks to do it for you. So if you want to have a website developed, and the price is right here, everything's right here for you. So. Okay, so let's get back to Bluehost. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to File Manager. We want to find our feed monkey. We public HTML, and we want to find our feed monkey. So, okay, right, so oh okay, yeah, everything. I just clicked on WordPress there. So we actually need to take everything out of there. So we go to Shift and copy all that stuff, and then we want to bring it up one level. Uh, we want to move those files. And we want to remove it out of the WordPress file. And we want to, oops, and there we go. So if we go back, uh, if we go up on level, and there we go, we got a WordPress. So actually, we don't need this WordPress folder anymore. We can go ahead and delete that. And the rest, and confirm. Now, here comes the foot. Uh, so here's your sample.php uh, file, and we can fake file. So um, if we actually look at our sample.php, you can actually click here. You can actually edit your. Instead of using uh, Note++, Plus, you can actually, uh, before you actually open your website, don't open your website yet. Um, before you actually, you can, instead of doing the Note, if you didn't want to do the Note++ Plus, Plus, um, notepad that we did, we did the editing on the config PHP, you can go in here and you can hit edit. And you go ahead and hit it. And so you can actually, you can actually get into here and edit the files we just did. So here, here's all the files. So we changed the database username, we did all that stuff. So you can actually go right in here and to edit that stuff if you don't want to use a notepad file. Okay, so let's close. And now, so that should be all done. Um, I don't need that sample 
config file anymore so I'm going to go ahead and delete that skip trash and confirm so there we go now we should be able to come over to our website Pro. we're not done yet there's a lot a lot of stuff to do so that's installing WordPress so there we go now in here we're installing a WordPress you're going to choose your language Hey, I did it correctly this time. I know sometimes, you know, as, as I was doing, when you're inside the authorization keys, down keys, and all that stuff, it's all keys. I, I have APIs. I, I, sometimes I miss those little two little quote things in there. Yes, I forgot the name of those. You gotta help me with the name of those. I forget those. Um, and so, uh, so I missed those. So actually, I didn't, I didn't miss any this time, which is really great. So we're going to go ahead and choose English. Oh, I mean, options we have English Canada, English South Africa, English Australia, English Ukraine. I don't have your English United States. Uh, why not? What's the difference between Canadian English, eh? And, that's, and what's the difference between British English? Oh, I have no idea, but I think we go ahead. Hey, I think we'll go ahead and get the Canadian English, or we can go to South African language, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and take the Canadian English for me. So, <laughs> yeah, that's of course the US, but no. Uh, so you can choose your language. So now we are doing WordPress installation on the website. Now we're setting up the configuration of the website. We just installed it into our, we just installed WordPress on our server. So we purchased the domain name. We did the name servers transfers over to Bluehost, the hosting company that we'll be using. And now we're going to be setting up WordPress on our website, my website here. So you guys get to go through the whole process with me, which is really great. We're going to be doing search engine optimization, photo galleries, e-commerce, we're going to be doing everything with this website, including ranking it in Google, Yahoo, Bing, all that good stuff. I'm going to be walking you through that. That's why I like to install clean versions. Because when I when I install, I've been doing search engine optimization for oh, probably since mid mid 90s, uh, before even Google. I started the internet back in the early 90s when web crawler came out and then switched over to Alta Vista. And after Alta Vista came out AOL and then Yahoo and all those, uh, all few and there's I missed Yahoo and then moving to Google into the 1997 or 2000, somewhere around there. And, uh, so I've been doing this for quite a while. And, uh, so the way we just did it, we installed a pure clean version of WordPress onto our hosting company. Uh, again, if you have a hosting company, they have a tab button. You could, oh, install WordPress, tab button, open your website to go through this process. But you don't know if it's clean. You don't know what you're getting in there. This way, you know absolutely everything that you're getting. So. We want to provide a title of our website. So the website is feedmonkey.pro. And so we're going with feed monkey. Feed monkey. Feed the monkey. <laughs> feed monkey. Uh, you got to create a username. So welcome to the famous five minute WordPress installation process. Just fill in the information below and you will be on your way. Powerful personal publishing platform in the world. Um, WordPress was developed, as I said earlier, uh, 2003, 2004. Actually developed in 2003. I've been using WordPress since uh, 2004 early 2004, even maybe like 2000. I used it like the first week it came out. And <laughs> it was it's pretty much the same platform as it is today. So everything's the same, except they have new, um, new uh, 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 website designs and stuff too. So we're gonna be getting the website defined, so where to purchase um, where to purchase website designs. So that'll be when you get into that next video, uh, part two of installing of uh, WordPress uh, tutorial for beginners. Uh, we will be getting into the, the website designs and stuff. But here, let's go ahead and get us in. So, information needed. Please provide the following information. Do not worry. You can always change these settings later. So, our site title is Feed Monkey. Now, we're going to be using a, a um, oops, I, got, I blocked it out, man. Darn it. I got to change my password. Okay, so, <laughs> so we're going to create a username. Usernames have, so I'm going to create username admin. So I will be changing this stuff later. I just left all my information up there. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. So I want to create a new password. So, ah, that's the, <laughs> I can't believe that. So I left that up there. <laughs> I'll have to go back in and change that, which I shouldn't have done. Okay, done. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's make sure I type that in. Uh, uh, yeah, I like to use these strong passwords. So, uh, uh, okay, so yeah, done. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And uh, <laughs> crap, man, that sucks. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Uh, I'm actually gonna actually, um, I'm not, I'm actually gonna pause <laughs> this section of the video. I need to actually get in and get a new password here. So, oh, uh, six, I can't believe I did that. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, things happen. Oh man. Uh, oh well, that happens, I guess. So, <laughs> uh, uh, I can't believe that. Anyway, so short. <laughs> I can't believe that. So your password automatically come at that you save into the uh, 
<laughs> configuration file. So that will automatically pop up there. And uh, so <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Ah, right, Robert. All right, all right, all right. Oh, well, that's uh, six, 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 sometimes, I guess so. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, well. uh, <laughs> so, anyway, so let's go ahead and, and let's go. Let's, let's, uh, uh, let's go all right, so let's continue the recording on the screen. So, we got our password in there. You have an email address. Um, what is my email that I will be using for this? Um, I have it so okay uh, if you want to develop an email with your company so let's go ahead and do that um, with your website so back into my sites email and office so we're gonna go in here and we can create an email so uh, this is feedmonkey.pro so I can people if I want to give people any drivers if I'm not gonna use email I can actually use my, my business site and we'll get into the email stuff later uh, all that good stuff so okay so manage our email so I'm gonna create an email here we're gonna call it what should we call it? Mad Labs at feedmonkey.org. So there we go. So we want to create a new email. So features let you create and manage email accounts. Want to learn more? Documentation. So we're going to create a new email. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, I hate when these things change on me. Uh, I'm always, sorry. So, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Let's see, such a great man. You don't have more dark base, so we're gonna have to my labs, my labs, my labs. Uh, 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 at feedmonkey.pro. Actually, I should probably not do that. Maybe just uh, Robert, Robert Corby. That's Robert Corby. Robert Corby at monkey.pro. And enter your password. So, yeah, password there. So, get your password for your email. Uh, which is kind of cool with this is you can, yeah, this page after we create. And uh, so, we're going to create our email. We've got password. So, it's going to be Robert Corby at feedmonkey.pro and create. Now, another thing is cool. So, if you don't want to install these, these emails, you can use Roundcube or stuff like that and install it on your phone, which, which I have. But you can also do forwarding of your email address, which I'm going to do because it's just easier for me that way. So uh, we want to go back to email office, tools, and uh, then, uh, uh, okay. uh, manage, so we want to manage our emails. Now we're going to go here and forward email. I'm going to forward this to my Gmail account. So because I have Gmail, I, I use regularly on my phone. But if I wanted, if I was doing business, I'd probably log in business and write people from, from the business email account. So anyway, so we should have it in here. It is a red event. Da, 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 da. Uh, there is Feedmonkey. Unrestricted email. We want to manage our email. And I'm going to go forwarding. So we're going to go in here. So we have Robert Corby at feedmonkey.pro. And we want to forward this. Uh, megabytes, megabytes, uh, which is, uh, which have, uh, 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 limited, there we go, and spend, receiving mail, allow, 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 automatic create folders, automatic create folders, update mail settings, okay, so that's one thing I wanted to do, is change that to unlimited, rather than, um, uh, storage, it would be, rather than, uh, 500 megabytes, which is on there, so we want to update email settings, so, uh, there we go, and then we want to forward, Oh, if, uh, if you wanted to check your email, you just go in here, you hit check email. And it gives you a program to open your email. Which usually you can use, I use, I like RoundCube. Uh, RoundCube is my preference, which is because you can do a lot of editing with RoundCube with, with your email. Um, you can do, yeah, you just customize your email so, way, uh, so well. And uh, you can also use MailChimp with it. And it, it's really great. So I like RoundCube. You can use Horde. You can RoundCube. I'm happy. I'm happy with RoundCube. So. Um, ah, there were fours. Here we go. So we clicked on. I forgot what we clicked on before. Anyways, you saw it. We just clicked on it. So we're gonna hit forwarders. We're going to forward email. So we want to forward. Send a copy. Create an email account forwarder. Add forwarder. Okay. So forward to email. So we're gonna forward it to Robert Corby at feedmonkey.pro, and we're gonna forward that to our email address. So this is uh, my Gmail. So we're gonna go ahead and forward that to Gmail. Thank you. So I can actually get updated. So I'm not always in round cube. So, uh, so I say get this, but I can you can do out manage. So at four and done. Okay, so that's fine. 
So let's go ahead and go back. Let's go back to webmail. Let's go back to our webmail. And we want to use round cube. So, uh, so we, can tell, we can get into the email setup and all that stuff too, how round cube works. I'll create a special video about round cube, but let's go ahead and continue. So we are, we don't need that page anymore. We're out of here. Okay, so that's back in the day. So we just, um, our website, uh, where's our website? Uh, uh, uh. So back here, we're at feedmonkey.pro. So uh, site title is feedmonkey. Mm -hmm. There you go. So everything we're doing here right now is a search engine optimization perspective. Okay. So we got a site title, username for person who's logging. This is person. This is how you log into your website. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, website building online, uh, not offline website building. Offline is you build a website, and then you upload it to MySQL, you upload everything to a database, and then bam, your site's done. I like to build online. Building a website online is you're actually doing it live online. You can view it and all that kind of stuff. I like it this way because every every time when you do it this way, you're pinging Google, you're pinging Yahoo, you're pinging every single search engine out there saying, this is what I'm here. This is what my website's about. So that's what your title, name of your website. If you can even use your personal name, if your website's about you, proper course. So let's name the site's FeedMonkey. So we want to call our website FeedMonkey. So there you go, admin and email. So we call it Robert Corby, Robert Corby, C-O-R-B-Y, at FeedMonkey, FeedMonkey.pro. And there we go. So install WordPress and discover search engine from it. Do not click this bot. This box. This box says discourage search engines. No, you want search engines from indexing sites. So now we are going to ping. Oh. Now back in the days when I've got so now okay. So here we our website. Our WordPress website is created. So now we actually went here and we looked at our website. So we got FeedMonkey. FeedMonkey.pro. There we go. There it is. See, this is our title. Title case. Now we're going to go here and edit all this stuff, of course. Mind blown. A blog about philosophy. It's not our website. We're going to be changing all this stuff and, and building the website. So, anyway, so now we're going to log into our website and uh, we will start that in the next uh, video, the next tutorial. So, WordPress is installed and we're going to go in here and to, and to do all the good stuff. So, thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for watching this video and part two is continuing with this uh, platform setting up the website so we just did the installation of wordpress on our website our website is now active we got a title in there hello world now we're going to get into the next video we're going to be doing the uh, post we're going to be doing design we're going to be doing pages we're going to be setting up the whole entire website and we'll get into that that's a total completely different tutorial because we want to have web design we want to have what our site's going to look like we want to design our logos for our website so um i think maybe in, in part two uh, this is probably maybe a mix i'm trying to think how we'll do this because we got to do logo design and, and all that stuff we, we can do so uh maybe part two will be about preparing for logo design and then uh, well, i guess we can do it all together I, I, I guess we can mix up together i can just go and prepare prepare my logo designs and, and do another thing on that i use photoshop which is pretty good uh, I gotta use characters. So I get now we'll do it together. We'll go we'll go pretty fast and, and do it all together. So that's be a little next video will be a little more time consuming, but we'll go ahead and do it all together. So uh feed monkey. All right. And Mad Labs, subscribe guys, if you haven't subscribed, thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button if you guys like this video, this tutorial, so stay tuned for part two. And um, I'm gonna start that today, actually. So this is a new channel, as I just said, and this is part one. So I'm going to take a break after here after this video and we'll get in and start with part two. Subscribe.